And we want to leave you on this note. Yuri Shevchenko died in Kyiv, Ukraine on March 23rd, a well-known Ukrainian composer. He was reportedly sheltering in a basement from the Russian assault on the city when he caught pneumonia and later died. He was 68 years old, yet another victim of Vladimir Putin's war, targeting not just Ukraine's cities and its people, but its culture. But Ukrainians are fighting back on the battlefield and in concert halls around the world. The Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra is leading what President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine calls the artistic resistance against Russia. It's the brainchild of Canadian-Ukrainian conductor Carrie Lynn Wilson. We're on a mission to fight on the cultural front for Ukraine, for its freedom, for its independence. As soldiers of music, I like to call my musicians, to galvanize audiences in the Western world, to stay resolved and in solidarity with Ukraine. As one musician told the New York Times, quote, I don't have a gun, but I have my cello. Last night, the orchestra concluded a 12-city international tour at the Kennedy Center here in Washington, D.C., in front of a sold-out crowd. The message is very clear to Putin and his regime that Ukrainian culture is strong, it's vital, and you cannot silence it or erase it. Yuri Shevchenko may be gone, but his music is not. Here now is his arrangement of the Ukrainian national anthem entitled We Do Exist, performed by the Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra. And our thanks to the Kennedy Center and the Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra.